Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so here's a little update on the Shad Gaspar uh, situation. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's official. Shad Gaspar has unfortunately passed away uh, because of because of the situation, him drowning. Um, yeah, so they found his body this morning. Uh, and yeah, it was like washed up apparently, and uh, yeah, they found the body. It just, uh, it's, it's, it's a darn shame, you know what I mean? Like, wow, what a sad couple of days, you know what I mean? I couldn't think to stop thinking about this. Um, so he was 39 years old, um, and like, wow, like, at least the good, like, here's the thing, like, the good news is at least the family has closure, you know what I mean? At least they found the body. That that's what at least is like is cool. Like for God knows like what would happen like after many, after like a, like a long time. Like what if like it took a, like a while. You know what I mean? But wow, well, fuck man, it's really sad. <laughs> and like his son must have unfortunately had PTSD. You know what I mean? It's sad, dude. Like. Fuck. But you know what? Like, wow. He went out on a, he went out on a, on a way. Like, what, what a way to go out, dude. Like, saving his own son's life. You know what I mean? He is a hero. You know? It's not me being cliche. Like, it's just because everybody... It's true. He's a hero. Like, fuck. Stopping a fucking robbery. And now saving his own son's life. Putting his own life on the line. Then fucking his... Like, you know, that's a fucking true father right there. That's a fucking true hero. You know? Really sad, really fucking sad, you know, this is not fucking great, man, to fucking go out like that. Fucking sad, man. And, and, but honestly, like, this is just fucking sad, like, even more, it's like, what the fuck, like... So, they did the search, they started the search right after, like, he, his body got missing. But, like, they literally took, like, they, like, would, like, stop the search, like, when they're scary, like, you know, they would actually stop the searches a few times, like... A day, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, not like a few times, but they'll stop the search. Like, they would, like, less, who, who, who knows? If they didn't, like, stop the search certain times of the day, like, if they didn't stop the search, you know, if they actually kept searching, maybe the guy would have at least a little more chance to be alive. You know what I mean? This, he went missing since Sunday. We only knew about this situation since Monday. You know what I mean? Wouldn't it make more sense to not stop the search and actually actual actually trying to make sure hey he's alive i understand it's very slightly like a chance like apparently he actually drowned but like watch i don't know like again like what's done is done right it's fucking sad though like this guy's a good human being you know what i mean he's a good human being you you could just tell he fucking he saved his own he fucking ran for his son's life fucking first than his own life now he's got fucking gone you know what I mean? And, you know, and he seems like a cool guy. Like, again, I'm not saying I'm the biggest fan of Shad Gaspar. But, again, I would love him and JTG to be at least come tag team champions. I would love them to succeed more as a tag team. Because I love that. I love their tag team. I thought they were a cool fucking tag team for, you know, uh, you know in terms of like, their gimmick, their character. They actually have character and fucking sort of charisma. You know what I mean? You know, I did not like that they were becoming like, what? Oh, the word of the day, the gangster word of the day. But like, if you look back at 2006 when they debuted up until when the PG are kind of started still, they were still cool. You know what I mean? I still, I still fucking remember the, yo, 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 yo. I, I, they, they were acting still gangster and stuff. Like, it's cool. You know what I mean? Even like people like say it's racist, but it was funny. They made it funny. They were entertaining. At least I remember them. I remember them. Will I remember fucking Street Profits in, year, in years later? Fuck no. I won't. These are. This is an example of a tag team do, do, doing right. That's a black tag team that should have been tag champs and should have honestly been more successful. You know what I mean? Because I like the tag team. Honest, let's be honest. That was like the only tag team I probably remember from 2008 or 6 or 7. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, even the early as a PG era, that's like the sadly the only tag team I remember. I don't remember any other tag teams because they were actually unique and interesting characters. They were. 
Man, but aside from that, Chad Gaspar is a good person, man. Like, wow. Like, honestly, I'm gonna say, like, fuck. Why, why are the good ones going away? You know what I mean? Why is the good ones? I haven't talked about this, but fuck Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, I might do a video about this, but you know, it ain't the fucking time. But fuck Alberto Del Rio. If you guys didn't know, apparently Alberto Del Rio fucking did some sexual assaults. Great, yeah. Just fucking ruin more lives, motherfucker. Like, now he's in prison, in prison, good. So, the fact that that guy got to be more successful is dumb. You know what I mean? Alberto Del Rio being a WWE champion and shit. Like, fuck Alberto, man. So we have that piece of shit living, and then like I understand he has a family, but for God's sakes, yeah. But he's a piece of shit. What a disgrace of a father, Alberto there really is. And you got a guy like fucking goddamn Shaq Gaspar. His life is gone. You know what I mean? After this, that fucking pisses me off. You know this fucking story just pisses me off. I'm sorry, it really does. What a fucking darn shame, man. Like. So it's official, Unfortunately, he passes away, this is just an update, but overall, I do want to say rest in peace, you know what I mean, because what a good man, like, he seemed like such a great man, and just fucking what he done, man, it's fucking great, now he's fucking, I feel bad for his son, I really do, I feel bad for his wife, obviously, I feel bad for the family, my condolences go out to the family, at least, like, the good news, here's the, the good news here is that at least they found the body, you know what I mean? Like, at least, like, it would have been better if he was still alive. I know that was unlikely, and they were reporting that it's unlikely that he would be alive, unfortunately. But at least they have closure. That's the good news, is that, like, there's closure to this, you know? Because, ugh, man, that, that fucking pisses me off. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have to say. Definitely rest in peace to Shad Gaspar. God bless you, dude. Um... And, you know, like, thank you. Thank you for the memory. I enjoyed fucking crime time. I really did. I, I, I just wish they would succeed more, honestly. They, they were kind of over, maybe. Like, as a tag team? Yeah, I would say. Because there's no other tag team from fucking goddamn 2006 to 2000 or whatever. Like, okay, those they sadly stopped being a tag team in 2010. And that's when they left. Well, JT was still there as a jobber, unfortunately. But, like... Come on, man. Like, they could have been, they could have been a good tag team, honestly, you know what I mean? But just, ugh. Oh, man. Growing up, especially, you know, because, like, I don't even remember a fucking tag team from that time. I really don't. You know what I mean? Like, everybody, like, ta that's when, like, tag team wrestling kind of, like, sucked, right? And ta they were, like, the only tag team that were interesting, unfortunately. It's the fucking truth. Besides, like, DX in 2009, but, like, again, like, DX were in the tag team until when they became back as a tag team, but, okay. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm just keep real people. God bless the JT, not JT, uh, fucking Shad Gasp, I'm sorry. Oh, shit, oh, shit. This is for you, man. Just, like, what the fuck, man. I seen a fucking... Listen, as much as I hate Kofi Kingston, again, I don't hate the person, right? But that was a beautiful moment. Like, fucking seeing Shad Gaspar, MVP, and JDG together, you know, you know, guarantee, like, fucking look at the moment. Again, like, I get it, you know, it's a good moment for Kofi being there for years. I'm sorry, but, like, it, you know, even though, yes, it, it did kill Russ, I'm sorry, but, like, I'm being honest here, but you know what? At least, you know what? It's a good moment. I, I will give Kofi that. I will give it, like, it's a good moment. You know, like, a guy who's been there for years. I get it. You know, it's a fucking great moment. Working your ass off. Like, here's the thing. Everybody freaking works hard. But the thing is, you can't just push somebody out of nowhere. You know what I mean? To win the fucking title. Um, and plus, unfortunately, he had a bad reign as champion. I'm sorry. It's the truth, people. Um, but, you know, overall... God bless Shy Gaspar, man. Like, fuck, what a great person it seems. And God bless his son and his wife and family, man. Like, and his loved ones. Because, god damn, that's fucking sad, bro. Like, ugh, I don't know what else to say. But, yeah, at least there's closure, people. Really, rest in peace. Rest in peace. And, yeah, I agree. Put him in the war award, people. Let's put him in the war award. He, de he deserves it. If you need a war award, give it to this man. I agree. Rest in peace, Shaq Gaspar. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye. You will be missed, man. One more thing, he is indeed a hero, people. God bless the man. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye.